Welcome. In this video I'm going to cover the basics of the GNOME desktop and how to access a terminal. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 uses GNOME 3 as its default desktop, a modern, highly customizable graphical interface. GNOME Shell on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 uses the GNOME Classic theme, which tries to emulate the look and feel of a GNOME 2 desktop. The GNOME Modern interface is available from the login screen if you select it from the settings icon next to the login button. You can view help on how to use the desktop by pressing F1. Also via the applications menu, or by typing yelp at the command line. Let's take a look around the key parts of the desktop. The top bar contains the applications menu, places menu, controls for volume, networking and calendar access, and the user menu. The user menu contains entries for adjusting the user online status, notifications, system settings, lock, logout, switch user, and power off options. If you hold the ALT key down you can also select Suspend. The Applications menu provides a way to start your installed applications. They are categorized into sub-menus. The Places menu is a list of directory shortcuts including file shares from network servers. The window list along the bottom of the screen shows the currently open windows for this workspace and allows you to select and manage each of them. The buttons in the lower right corner indicate the current workspace and the number of workspaces and allow you to switch workspaces. The number in blue indicates the current number of pending messages in the message tray. You can access the message tray by clicking the button or using the super M key combination. The super key is sometimes known as the Windows key. You can close the message tray by clicking a normal window Press Escape or press the Super M combination again. The Activities Overview is a special view that allows you to quickly change between applications and workspaces, launch favorite applications and find installed applications. The quickest way to access it is to press the Super key. Although it can be accessed from the Applications menu also. The left side of the view shows the dash, sometimes referred to as the dock. The middle shows the current workspace open windows, and the right side shows the workspaces. At the top is a search box that can be used to type the name of applications in order to locate them. It has focus immediately so you can open the activities view and begin typing to find your required application. The dash contains a list of your favorite apps, as well as the currently running apps. You can click on an icon to open or jump to the app. Right click on the icon to add or remove the app as a favourite. The grid icon at the bottom of the dash opens a view that shows all the installed applications. Workspaces are separate desktops that can each run different applications, just like having multiple screens that are running different applications. These workspaces can be used to organise your working environment. For example, you could have a log file being tailed in one workspace, email and IRC running on another, and have your current admin tasks running in your main workspace. It's entirely up to you. Switching between workspaces can be done using the workspace button in the lower right corner, or selecting the workspace from the activities overview. But perhaps the quickest method is to use Ctrl Alt up arrow or Ctrl Alt down arrow to navigate forwards and backwards through the workspaces. You can move the active application window between workspaces by using Shift Control Alt up arrow and Shift Control Alt down arrow. Or you can drag and drop them in the activities view. If you're running GNOME, then you probably want to be able to open a command line shell as a window, rather than switching between virtual consoles. GNOME Terminal is the default application for doing this. It can be started via the Applications menu, Utilities, Terminal, or the Activities Overview from the dash. Alternatively, begin typing Terminal and select it from the list of icons shown. 
These options usually open the terminal in your home directory. You can open a terminal in a specific directory if you have the file manager, Nautilus, open in the desired directory. Right click on the white space or use the menu button and choose open in terminal. This works for a blank space on the desktop also. Now you have a command line shell in your GNOME environment that can be resized, moved, minimized, etc. You can have multiple terminals open. Each one will be a separate shell session and can be doing different operations. You can even have multiple sessions open in the same window via tabs. If you need to leave your desk but want to keep your various applications and terminal sessions running, then you can lock your screen. Use the user menu and choose lock or type Control alt l This will lower the lock screen curtain which shows the system time and date and the name of the logged in user. One handy feature of the lock screen is that you can still adjust the volume with the session locked. Handy if you are inclined to listen to music while you work. Press enter or space to show the login screen which will allow you to log into your session again. Or on multi-user desktops, switch to another user. Multiple user sessions can be active at the same time and you can switch between them this way or from the user menu with the switch user option. When you switch an active user the current user session will be locked automatically. The current user session will also lock automatically after an inactivity timeout. This is configurable in the power settings. To end your GNOME session, which will usually close any active applications and jobs as well, use the user menu, Logout. The dialog window that appears gives you 60 seconds to cancel your decision or have it happen automatically. You can also force it to occur immediately by clicking the Logout button. To power off or restart your system, you can use the user menu, Power Off menu item and then choose Cancel, Restart or Power Off from the dialog window that appears. Again, you have 60 seconds to decide or Power Off will occur automatically. You can access this dialog immediately by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete. If you want the option to suspend rather than Power Off, then you must use the user menu. Before you select the Power Off menu item, press the Alt key and you will see it changes to Suspend. Now you can select the menu item to suspend your machine instead. To recap, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 uses GNOME 3 with the classic theme. You can use F1 for help. The desktop consists of the top bar containing the applications, places and user menus, plus widgets for network, volume and date and time. The bottom bar shows the window list, workspace switcher and message tray message count. The activities overview has the dash, search box, open applications and workspace selector. You can launch terminals inside GNOME 3 for command line shell access. Users can lock their session, switch between users on the same machine, log out of the session, and suspend, restart or power off from the user menu. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.